Morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ, just wanted to come to you this morning and um, share a, a morning devotional of encouragement to the Bride of Christ, the Church, those who have accepted the Lord as their Savior and um, have given their hearts and lives to Him. This morning I read in the book of Revelation, the very last chapter of the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and um, I read the New Living Translation it's easier for me to understand and that's just my personal preference and I have a New Living Translation study Bible that really uh, just helps me to grasp and understand the Word of God um, so anyhow I just wanted to share you, with you what the Lord showed me uh, or pointed, directed me to, and um, it's, um, I just title it, Be Ready. It could be any moment. Um, so I just wanted to read it to you as encouragement uh, for those who are looking for his return, uh, because it is very soon. So be ready. It could be today. See, I am coming soon, and my reward is with me, to repay all according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so they can enter through the gates of the city and eat the fruit from the tree of life. That's Revelation 22, verses 12 through 13. Those who wash their robes are those who seek to purify themselves from their sinful way of life. They strive daily to remain faithful and ready for Christ's return. He who is the faithful witness to all these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you all. Revelation chapter 22 verses 20 through 21. We don't know the day or the hour, but Jesus is coming soon and unexpectedly. This is good news to those who trust him, but a terrible message for those who have rejected him and stand under judgment. Soon means at any moment, and we must be ready for him always prepared for his return. Would Jesus' sudden appearance catch you off guard? The book of Revelation closes human history as the book of Genesis opened it in paradise. But there is one distinct difference in the book of Revelation. Evil is gone forever. The book of Genesis describes Adam and Eve walking and talking with God the book of Revelation describes people worshiping God face to face. The book of Genesis describes a garden with an evil serpent. The book of Revelation describes a perfect city with no evil. The Garden of Eden was destroyed by sin, but paradise is recreated in the New Jerusalem. The book of Revelation ends with an urgent plea, Come, Lord Jesus. In a world of problems, persecution, evil, and immorality, Christ calls us to endure in our faith. Our efforts to better our world are important, but the results cannot compare with the transformation that Jesus will bring about when he returns. He alone controls human history. He alone forgives sin and he alone will recreate the earth and bring lasting peace. The book of Revelation is above all a book of hope. It shows that no matter what happens on earth, God is in control. Hallelujah. It promises that evil will not last forever, and it depicts the wonderful reward that is waiting for all those who believe in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Are you ready for Christ's return? Time is running out. Are you saved? If not, it's not too late. Ask Jesus to come into your heart today. You may not have tomorrow, for he is coming back, and soon. Maranatha. Well, be blessed today, brothers and sisters, and be encouraged in the Lord. He is great. He is mighty. He is wonderful. He is our Savior.
Love you all.